Hello my lovelies, it's Madam Crystal Butterfly with a quick review of Tales of Bache, Queen of the Dead by Brian Andrew. And this story, Cupid being the asshole he is, shoots a young man causing him to fall head over heels in love with Persephone, who is a goddess. Now at one of the festivals his village throws for Persephone's mother, Demeter, Persephone notices this young man is in love with her and later hatches a plan. Steve Persephone is sick and tired of being in her mother's shadow. She wants her own glory. So she and Hades, who is in love with her, decide to hatch a plan. Persephone is going to lie to this young man and tell him that she has the same feelings for him. Then Hades will kidnap her and they'll go to the underworld. They do this, Demeter gets depressed and blames humanity for why her daughter has gone missing and starts freezing everything and everyone. Crops die and people have left with nothing to eat and they go through very hard times because of her. Meanwhile, Persephone is in the underworld, living it up but causing trouble for Hades' underlings because there are more and more people unaliving, which is a problem because now they're dealing with numbers of not alive people that they never usually have to deal with and this is a lot of work for them but persephone likes being queen of the underworld she likes having her seat of power she does not want to go back to spending all her days where she has no authority no saying anything and all the praise goes to her mother and hades you know she and hades have romantic feelings for each other so he's more than happy to keep her down there as for the young man who is in love with Persephone, he believes that cruel boys from his village must have kidnapped her because he is a bit delusional in the love department. I mean, my goodness, Persephone is a goddess, a human being able to capture her. That, that is pretty silly to believe. And he too goes on a journey to try to find out what happened to Persephone, maybe save her, and nearly freezes to death until he runs into Bache, a god of wine, who takes pity on this young man and tries to help him as best he can. Will they ever figure out Persephone is in the freaking underworld? Will Demeter make it warm again so people can grow crops and live? Well, you'll just have to read this book to find out. Personally, my lovelies, I really, really enjoyed this book. It was not a book I originally intended to review, but it was a very, very good read. So I figured why not give it a nice review. The characters are interesting and the stakes at play are fun. But there are moments when some characters are a little willingly stupid. It's not all the characters, but there are some characters such as the young man who's in love with Persephone there are moments where he's just willingly stupid and not willing to accept reality when other people tell him Persephone's not that great she does some stuff so she may have pulled a fast one on you he doesn't want to hear it although in his case I do to a degree blame that on Cupid's arrow because in Greek mythology Cupid the gods tend to fear him and try not to piss him off because he would hit you with the arrow and make you fall in love with a rat if you made him mad he would just do that or if you annoyed him so everybody wanted to stay on cupid's good side and cupid also i feel should have been explored a little bit more as a character because he just hit the kid with the arrow the kid fell in love with persephone and he just fucked off he didn't do anything about it i don't know if this was an accidental arrow shooting or if he did it on purpose to cause chaos i don't know i feel like that should have been more explored and this i think may be a series and the author may explore that in future books there were a few other qualms I had with the story, such as when Persephone is doing her thing in the underworld. None of Hades' underlings really like her, but they're still more willing to do whatever she tells them to do when she tries to attack the other gods, when they try to drag her out of the underworld. I think it would have been better in this case because they were having problems with her to at least make her effective enough to have some of Hades' underlings that really liked her and were loyal to her and some that weren't. 
but that's just my opinion and even with that i still feel like this is a very very good book and a very enjoyable read that's why i gave it the rating of four butterflies out of five this is definitely a must read my lovelies you should definitely if you get a chance give this book a read because it was fun for me to read i couldn't put it down i had to read it all the way through because it was so much fun anyway my lovelies that is my review and i hope you all have a lovely day